In this video, I just want to talk about the next steps that I recommend that you take after this system. So you will know um, from watching the previous videos that what I recommend is that you always go for a very high return on your trades. Now there's a number of ways to do that and one is to find very low risk trades in the sense that you have a very small stop loss to a very high return. Um, and you will find those trades um, in my systems, the 10 times ROI trading system, and I have a blog of that name, 10 times ROI trading system.com. And I highly recommend you go and visit that blog because there's a lot of free information on that blog, a lot of free videos. So if you um, scroll down, you will see a lot of videos. There's 37 pages of free videos there. Okay. Lots and lots of videos, free videos for you to watch. Okay, um, you. I also recommend that. Um, obviously, I'm recommending, but it's up to you, of course. If you're interested in my eBooks, then head on over to the eBook page where you can get some good deals on the price of my books. Um, I also do video courses, so you can head over to there. There's a swing trader course, day trader course, end of day trading course, and also trading psychology course. Um, so, you know, very uh, a very comprehensive uh, package for you to be able to go to the next steps if you are interested in high ROI trading. And it's not just about um, getting a small stop loss and a big return. There's other ways to increase the amount of return you get on a trade. For example, part of my high ROI trading course, I talk about um, pyramiding. So it actually teaches you how to pyramid your way um, to up to a 30, a 1 to 30 ROI on your trades or even higher. So by learning how to pyramid into your trades, you can increase the ROI on a trade dramatically. The other way to increase the ROI on your trades is to learn inventive money management techniques. These are also covered in my books. So that would be my next um, step for you. But in the first instance, if you go over to the blog, as I said, there's lots and lots of free um, resources. Now, the other thing is that you can go over to my Trader Self-Control uh, blog, um, where you can also get the eBooks. Um, you could also pick up a copy of a trading journal that I've created. And it's very, very important for you to take control of your trading psychology because in order to be a successful trader, there's two sides. There's the things that you do and the things that you think. And if you don't get both of those in sync, you cannot succeed in trading. So just as important as the trading system that you have is taking control of your trading psychology. Now, if you're a very beginner trader, you won't believe that. And um, because all that will seem important to you is getting a trading system. You will have absolute faith in your ability to execute that trading system as long as you find a winning system. But here's where the cycle of doom begins for traders and why traders don't succeed is because they find winning systems. So they will find a high ROI system like the 10 times ROI system or any other system, they'll try it out. The system won't work for them. They won't realize that the reason that the system isn't working for them is because they haven't got their trading psychology right. They will blame the system and they will do something called system hop. They will move on to the next bright, shiny object system. That system won't work. They'll move on to the next system. All the while, they'll be looking outside themselves for the answer. You can waste years doing that 
a lot of traders do. It's called the search for the Holy Grail. It's a very common phenomenon in trading. And the reason that happens is because the traders do not get their trading psychology right, which is why I created these books. And if you head on over to Amazon and have a look at the reviews, you'll see that um, I get some amazing reviews for the books because they are very practical short books to deal with the problems of trading psychology and trading. So can't overemphasize it. I know it's very tempting not to bother about trading psychology. You didn't get into this game for uh, self-improvement. You got into it to be, you know, make money. I understand that. But unfortunately, if you're not interested in, in self-improvement, I completely get that. But that is the price you pay to become a successful trader. A successful trader has to become a master of their own trading psychology. And these little books help you to do that. Um, and for a very, very reasonable price. So I can't emphasize that enough. Head on over to the um, ebook section of TraderSelfControl.com pick up these books um, and use them alongside with any trading system that you're doing and that will really help you to become a successful trader. So those are the next steps. That is what I recommend that you do um, for the next part of your journey into becoming a successful trader and I wish you all the best.